if you have a paper jam or a no paper error displayed, we need to check the software and the printer. Let's check the printer first. To do that, we need to locate the sensor. The sensor can be found by releasing the print head, swiveling the plate forward, and sliding the ribbon out of the way. Now you should be able to locate the sensors. This printer has two sensors, a bent arrow sensor and the straight arrow sensor. The bent arrow sensor reads the notches cut into pop tags and slip-on tags as they travel through the printer, so this would be the correct position for tags. The straight arrow sensor reads the gaps between the labels and should be placed directly over a label. This would be the correct position for pressure sensitive labels. To adjust the sensor, looking from the back of the printer, you should be able to locate a small white knob that can be loosened, adjusted to the proper position, and tightened back up. Now that we've established that your sensor is in the correct position, yet you still have a paper jam or no paper error, the next step would be to calibrate the printer. To calibrate your printer, first turn the printer off. Then, while holding down the feed and pause buttons, turn the printer back on. This will put the printer into diagnostic mode. Then, tap the feed key until 5, sensor adjust appears in the display. Then tap pause until reflect is in the display. Then place a tag or label directly underneath the sensors and press and hold down the restart button until an asterisk appears next to the number. Press pause once and trans should be displayed. If you're printing on tags, pop tags or slip on tags, at this point remove them from underneath the sensors. If you're printing on pressure sensitive labels, remove about an eight inch section like this, removing the labels from the backing sheet. Place the backing sheet underneath both the sensors. Then press the pause key until sensor adjust appears by itself in the display. Turn the printer off and you're calibrated. So if we know we have the sensor in the correct position and we know we're calibrated correctly, the next step would be to look at the software settings.